Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I want to answer some subscriber questions and comments that we've been seeing in the comments section of videos. Specifically, the video I put out yesterday I want to address a colossal problem. A little bit of cheese. There's been some complaints that there's not actually cheese in the game. <laughs> My apologies. But there were some questions that I wanted to address and they're, they're kind of popping up again and again. So I thought, hey, you know, let's do a video and let's address it that way so that's what we're doing here today let's get into it all right so just arriving back down to take on earl and we'll take on some questions there's a uh, two i guess i'll start with from the very start the first is what fixer are you using the fixer the gun that i have right now is uh, 25 25 so improved stealth superior damage because it has the prime receiver 25% uh, faster fire rate and 25% less vats which I love to bits especially the vats part because I'm, I'm all about the crits here but someone else also asked in a two-parter the first part was would you be willing to share your build yeah of course I'll throw that up in a few seconds but the second part was um, are you using chems um, I am so before I before I start anything, just to get the ball rolling, um, I'll pop on some uh, psychotats. We'll put on some mentats, uh, some lemonade for AP recovery, and ballistic buck. Now there are a few other things I look at, like bobblehead small guns, but I'm going to hold that for now. Um, sneak, which I'm holding. Um, Live and love is good for AP recovery as well. But anyway, that's that's pretty much what I roll with. And of course, the fact that I'm bloodied also also helps got his attention now I'm looking for some ads because I want to get my adrenaline up Have you figured me out yet no he has not oh he has look at that oh Oh, 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 oh. That is, of course, going to be the problem if you're playing bloodied. <laughs> and you're not ducking and diving and getting pretty selfish like I did there and not getting out of the way as quickly as I could. Is, um... Yeah, you're gonna... You're gonna hurt. Ah, uh, we need to get some more... Druggies up. Alright, here come the ads. One. That's it, really. That ties in nicely to another question or a statement, which was. Oh, wow, wrong targeting. Which was, I don't remember taking much damage from Earl. Almost all of my deaths are from being feared into the waste or ceiling collapse. Yeah, me too, for the most part, when I'm out there. When I'm in here. It's exclusively damage, 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 damage. It's exclusively damage from Earl that I take. And if he hits me with a chain of damage, um, he he pretty much takes me out. Then I have to reapply buffs and whatnot again. I'm not getting as many ads as I would like here, but still we're doing doing fine damage wise. Oh, there we go. Nearly in the two hundreds now. Could be better. Oh. He didn't hit me there, I just walked backwards into that nonsense. There we go, again. Ah, there we go, 200s. Come on, come on. Did it again. How we doing? Got another minute left in those. So yeah, if you're, if you're out and about there, then absolutely, it's... It's usually the environment that's going to kill you first, right? And that is what I thought would is the joy of this um, this little cheese spot, if you will, that you can avoid all that environmental damage and just deal with what he's going to throw at you. But then you're going to exclusively only remember the damage he does to you and not the environment. And you'll see why I like this area in a little bit. I'm going to um, drop the fixer and see what else we can um, 
what else we can use here and what kind of reasonable damage numbers we can get from from what we're at here oh I'm addicted Things aren't going the best for me now. We've got to drop our health a little. There we go. That should help. Some ads would go nicely as well. Ah, much better. Where have you gone? Let's get out of there nice and quick. And again, it's that thing behind me that nearly killed me again. The ads are just not working for me today, which is a shame. I like getting that adrenaline score up nice and fast, but I'll take 150s all day. It's absolutely no problem at all. Oh, well. Okay, here we go. More? Yes, yes, yes. More. Is there more? Is there more? Is there more? Run out of time, yes. More. Ah. Better. It's gonna spit. Got a little greedy there. But nonetheless, we took him down. Let's see if we get anything before I die in here. So we got some loot from that as well. Before we go in and do this again a little differently, just to, to address a few other questions, let's go back to the build question. Now, this build, the one I'm running, is a build from Angry Turtle. So I'm gonna put the link to the video up in the top right of the screen now. This video that he did was about a year ago, I think, if not more, and it was a build to take on the Scorch Beast Queen. It was a very effective build. Um, I took it a few months ago and I was kind of messing around with it. I'm pretty sure it's still intact. I haven't changed that much. Okay, that shouldn't be there. Um, but yeah, it's, I happened to have it on me when a, a colossal problem launched on the PlayStation. And uh, I just kind of went with it. The damage output was fine, so I haven't changed it or done anything with it. This just works for me. So in strength, there's just one point, 45% less ammo, 15 in perception for all the commando um, cards, including tank killer and concentrated fire, four in endurance, fireproof and uh, rejuven rejuvenated. But yeah, that tends to work for me for AP. Tenderizers there, nerd rage, got to get my health below 20%. Remember to do that. Uh, covert operative, because where I'm getting a lot of my damage from is sneaking. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So, you know, it's a sneak build, so that's where the damage comes from. Um, that addresses a question I got here. How are you doing so much damage? My bloody focus Gatling doesn't even touch his health bar like you do. So my damage is coming from sneaking. Um, Mr. Sandman, if I can remember to launch the nuke just as we're heading into nighttime, I'm getting more sneak damage out of that as well. They're sneaky, sneaky. Uh, escape artist, again, just to help with sleep. Sneak, not sleep. Wow. Um, yeah, good morning. Gun Fu, because that's awesome. And adrenaline, because it's very, very helpful. And then 15 in luck as well. I've got the Grim Reaper's uh, Sprint, again, because I need AP. This is, a, this is a sneak crit build. I'm all about crit, 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 as fast as I can. Uh, better criticals because of the crit, 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 crit I just mentioned. Class Freak, because that's cool. Starch Jeans, because that's awesome. Uh, critical, Savvy Y, crit, 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 crit. And Bloody Mess, because that helps. So that's the build. Again, check out um, Angry Turtle's video. He actually goes into detail about why everything is here, what everything does, the, the whole shebang. Certainly worth a, a look. Uh, the likes of Angry Turtle, you know, they're very good at putting together 
builds and whatnot. I am not. I'll go looking at some YouTubers, Angry Turtle being one of them, if I if I want to switch out my builds because he puts in the time, he puts in the math, and I get a good and I you get a good idea as to as to what you're after. Now, so doing things a little differently just before we jump in, I'm not going to use this bloody the fixer currently outputting to 40. I'm going to use this fixer. So it's a non-legendary fixer. Its current damage output is 135, was it? Yeah. And um, just to kind of make the point that it doesn't really matter if you've got a bloodied uh, fixer, 25-25, whatever the case may be. It's doable without, or at least that's what I hope to prove. So, um, I probably want to drop my health a little bit. Just a little bit, just so... There we go, get nerd rage proking. We're still going sneaky sneaky as best as we can. We'll still be doing some drugs. Guys, on the drugs front, I need to go back and do a little edit. I've realigned my drugs. I realized I had them set up all wrong. I'm sorry, I've been a little sleepy doing the video. Some of what I showed you previously conflicts uh, with others. So what I'm going to be using is overdrive uh, psychotats. And uh, I'm going to go with ballistic uh, box. Sometimes I go with hard liquor instead. Or sorry, um, hard lemonade instead for AP control. Um, I won't be doing that here because I don't have the faster fire rate on the gun anyway. So I think I'll have a good good feel for my AP control without needing that. So we're going to instead use that drink um, slot to get some damage in. So let's see how we're going to do here. Let's bring him over first. Wow. <laughs> I... It's immediately obvious um, I no longer have faster fire. Oh boy. I wasn't sneaking either. That's not good. All right, let's get some drugs in us. Wow, I nearly died there. That's never good. Um, how are we looking? There's ballistic. There's the two. All right, we're up and running. I'm just going to bring my health back. Make sure Nerd Rage stays. Yes. All right. Let's see what kind of damage we can put in before. All right, 80s. 80s are reasonable, I think. I haven't... Um, I haven't used adrenaline yet, but I think 80 is still a very reasonable number for us to work with here. I could just stay alive and not back into that all the time. Yeah, 80 is definitely a reasonable... I, yes, I do... For sure, Mr. Faster Fire. I tell you that straight off the bat. But we can work with this. Oh, where'd he go? It's just this over and back nonsense. At least we're not dealing with the environment out there. That's the last thing I would want to be doing without my faster fire. Whoops. That's me spamming crit. Okay, so AP is now becoming an issue. I have a Nuka Quantum there to top up my AP real quick. Yes. Oh, he nearly took me out there with that one. Fair play to him. Let's get some more AP in. He's going to mutate now any second, I'd say. Hey, there we go. Finally, some ads. We badly, badly needed the ads, guys. Um, do you know what else we need to do? Not that. This. And I just wasted my ad time. Screw it. There we go. Faster reload. That's what I wanted. There we go. Oh, we're in the we're in the hundreds territory now, nearly. Oh, he nearly got me. As soon as he goes over there, I'm going over here again. I'm just looking for an ad. I had one. There we go. If I can keep that clock resetting at 30. Is he going to spit? Okay, 30 seconds up on the clock again. So it's going <laughs> to... The battle is obviously going to be a little longer than what I'm used to, right? Really, really missed that faster fire. 
really, really miss the efficiency that you get with the 25% less vats as well. But, and then of course, nah. but yeah, sorry, long story short, it's, it certainly do. This, as I said, this is just a regular fixer. Like this isn't anything with a legendary effect. You come in here with, um, with your build with legendary effects. And you will do all right, guys, assuming you're playing to your build. So if you can sneak, yes, put in all those sneak perks, take all that damage. Um, if you're running around heavy builds, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I died. If you're a heavy build, I don't know what to tell you because I don't play heavy. Um, I play sneaky, sneaky. It's all about the sneaky, sneaky for me. So while we're... Oh, his health is going to go back up. We were doing okay. I was going to just end the video there and say, well, you know, you get the idea. But no, let's let's actually down him. Just got to be careful with that health. If I could get away with what I have now, I would. But I don't think I'll get away with it. I think I'll have to drop my health to make sure we're taking advantage of that nerd rage. Um, how's everything else? We'll probably top up on everything at this point. Yeah, no harm. Alrighty. But yeah, just while we do this, pushing on with the questions. So I get a question a lot on a video I did about the season two rewards. And the question pretty much goes along the lines of, when is season two releasing? And the answer is, quite honestly, I don't know. Um, I think there's about eight or nine days left in season one, right? So that's going to end probably the second Tuesday of September. Bethesda, when they, when they make changes, Tuesday more often than not tends to be the day that they look at, right? So with that in mind, it's possible. Oh, that was close. With that in mind, it's possible that that Tuesday, uh, the second Tuesday in September, would be the Tuesday that they go live. But I don't think it will be. I think, personally, they'll put the season live with patch 22. That's my feel on it. And I think patch 22, we might be waiting until week three. So I think there might be a delay between between week, sorry, between season one and season two of a week. That's my feeling. Now, regardless, the the answer to the question is I don't know. Anyone who, who claims to we're, is just guessing. I think we're all just guessing, right? We're, as soon as we'll know, we know, you'll know. I mean, we'll make a video on it. <laughs> I will. Great news. It'll be the 60 second video, but there, there you go. Um, unless there's anything else to talk about. I always find something to talk about. Um, so yeah, that should address the, the 20 or 30 questions I've gotten on when can we expect season two. And while I'm at this, there's another question or another point I want to address as well. I did a video on uh, the PTS server on the tr oh, on the treasure hunter event, and I made a little mistake there. But my community, thankfully, keeps me pretty honest. So I said that the treasure hunter event happened in May of this year or there or thereabouts, which is right. And I also said it happened last year. Which is wrong. It didn't. I think I was thinking of that other silly event I don't like. But I was called out on it. And no. Nope, for sure. I was in the wrong there. Absolutely. Hands up. So apologies on that. I don't know where my mind was. That was uh, no sooner was that video live. And you guys were all over me on that. So that's kind of awesome. That you know if a slip up does happen. It's caught pretty quickly. So thank you guys. Um, I did update the description on that video as well. So anyone who might be under the illusion 
that that was that happened last year no longer is anyway back to this this is going on longer than i'd hoped to be honest i think i need kind of get some buffs in again um <laughs> it's doable with the cheese spot uh for sure i mean this this does make things easier right the only thing i have to worry about is him and the the wendigos most people would worry about the wendigos i just i want them here as soon as possible i i'm not getting as many as i would like things are not going well for me on the wendigo front it's like it's almost like he knows i'm running adrenaline and i need the ads but still I mean, provided we don't die. Oh, now I've gone and said that. We're probably going to die, and by we, I mean me. But provided... Oh, that was a nice little chunk we took off in there. But provided I don't die. Um, oh, oh, dear God. The DPS we're seeing is very reasonable. Um, uh, repair kit. Okay. At least it was. I've kind of lost track of what I was doing there now. Oh, my reload is off as well. Again. There we go. Woo. All right. Let's get, let's get back to the party. It's five, 30 seconds now. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where, I mean, are we missing each other? Yeah. Oh, good numbers there. Good numbers from adrenaline. Don't get greedy. I nearly wanted to stay out and hurt him badly there. 30 seconds reset again. I nearly wanted to to just finish him. Ah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I was um, I was a little nerve wracking just because I knew that um, were I to fail, that his health would go back up. Where is he? Is that? Oh, there he. Is. Oh, it's kind of hard to miss there, isn't he? Um, but yeah, I mean, there you go. So I know some people said, I don't know, uh, Dig, how you're doing that kind of damage. I'm getting 20s, 30s. It's very easy to do. It's, I, I just wanted to prove with this that it's not necessarily the weapon. It's not the fact that I'm using a bloodied weapon. It's, I mean, the weapon is great, but it's all about, at least in my opinion, it's about the build and that your build is complementing your chosen weapon. And that, you know, if you are using, if you are coming in here as, thank you. If you are coming in here as a stealth commando, like, like I am, and you're coming in as a commando, consider stealth, consider, consider what you can do to get your damage bonuses up. Uh, it's all about DPS output. Yes, you can use some, um, these go well together. Um, the ballistic box is, is fantastic as well. That will help, but ultimately it's down to your build. So the stealth commando build I'm using now from um, from Angry Turtle, I, I, I quite like this. I'm sure there's even better builds more focused on this event uh, because, you know, Angry Turtle put this one together for the queen. This was long before a colossal problem was even conceived. But still, it works. So, you know, if you're not a stealth commando, if you're coming in as something else, have a look around YouTube. See what YouTubers, maybe Angry Turtle has something. There's there's loads of other YouTubers. I'm not one that does builds, but there are people out there that do good builds. Find something that works for your build. You wanna be taking full advantage of your build to make sure that you're, you're getting maximum out of your DPS. And find out work, what works best for you in terms of food, in terms, in terms of chems. You wanna be able to stack all that up like in in my case, I was taking advantage of Nerd Rage, keeping my health below 20%. I was taking, I was taking advantage of the Sneak. That, the extra damage I'm getting from Sneak. Um, I was taking advantage of the, the, the beer. I was taking advantage of the two chems. That was all stacking together. If I had a, a bobblehead for small guns, which I, I didn't have on me, but if I did, I'd have that on as well. Again, I'd be outputting even more damage. Now, typically, if I'm in here, yes, I have my bloodied weapon. So, you know, the whole bloodied comes into play and my output is much higher. But even without that, even with just a regular everyday fixer, 
Ooh, colossal heads. Colossal heads, yeah. Even with a regular everyday fixer, it's not a problem. It's it's easy enough to um to solo him. Now I didn't do that in, in record timing. <laughs> Took me what, ten minutes I'd say? If not longer, probably longer. But it wasn't a struggle. I, I died once and I was careless in that, but it wasn't really a struggle. The only thing it comes back to again for me was discipline. Yes, you know, I'm three quarters of the way through my mag. I know I can put more damage into him, but he hasn't he hasn't spit at me in a while. I should probably duck in. He's probably about to do that. If he doesn't, so what? Just I've just added another 10 or 15 seconds to the fight, but at least I'm alive. What you don't want to do is die and see that health bar go up. Like um, I unfortunately and embarrassingly enough did. But anyway, that hopefully addresses the question on the build, addresses the question on the weapon. Yes, I do use a bloody fixer, but you don't need to have this one. This one cost me 25,000 caps. My because at the point I was switching from rifle to automatic build, it cost me my rifle, my beautiful lever action rifle that was um, explosive two shot, I think. I was in love with it. I know it's not the most efficient weapon out there, but I was in love with it. And it cost me my two shot explosive handmade as well. It set me back quite a bit. <laughs> so yeah, it is my weapon of choice usually. But... You can do just fine with a fixer. You can just do just fine with any automatic weapon going in there, provided you're provided you're taking care of your of your build. So if if you're struggling in there, carefully consider your build. Have a look around YouTube for build channels. See what works best for you. You can use this cheese spot to experiment and see what kind of DPS you're putting out before you apply any food, before you apply any uh, chems before you drop your health below 20 percent if that's the case uh, but you can slowly play there work work it out work out what works best for you at least that's what i had to do i didn't i didn't just do the last video jump in and be able to solo the guy um that's that's taking me time to kind of tweak and figure out what is and isn't working for me so anyway hopefully i answered some of your questions hopefully the video proves some bit useful or perhaps even entertaining if you like the video please do hit the like button and like the video. While a small act to you, it means the world to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.